Hey foodies! It's almost summer so it's time for some ice cream and today I'm going to share a special recipe with you. I'm going to be teaching you how to make some Bailey's ice cream. This is so easy to make guys. It doesn't require much ingredients and the first step is to actually chill your bowl. So here's my chilled bowl and in this I'll be adding one and a quarter cups of whipping cream. This is one and a quarter cups or 250 milliliters. Add that all in. So before you add anything else, you just want to whip this up just a little. It doesn't have to be completely whipped, but just whip this up for just a few minutes until it's thicker than how it just went in the bowl. Just a few minutes will do. As I said, you don't need this to get super thick because if it's liquid, if it's runny, or if it's super thick, it will still have to go in the freezer if you do not have an ice cream maker for it to get that consistency that ice cream has. lovely so the next ingredient guys will keep the flavor up just a notch i'm going to add to this one teaspoon of instant coffee trust me this gives it such a great flavor add that all in then i'm just going to use a spatula to move everything around until all that coffee is nice and mixed out in my whipping cream Right, that's good enough. So the next thing I'll be adding to this is some condensed milk. I'm going in here with a half cup of condensed milk and you can adjust this based on your liking. If you want your ice cream to be sweeter, then you can add more condensed milk. And then you just want to mix all of this together. Mix until the condensed milk is nicely incorporated with that whipping cream and that instant coffee. You can already taste this and know that it's going to be so yummy. You could have left it at just the coffee flavor to be honest because it's so good. Next I'm going in with a teaspoon of vanilla extract. Then onto the star of the show, a half cup of Bailey's Irish cream. And in case you're wondering what that is, here is the Bailey's Irish cream. And this has 17% alcohol, so I don't want to add too much. Half cup was just right. So just mix everything together and do not worry about the consistency now because you'll have to add this to a container to add it to the freezer and trust me I've been making ice cream for a very long time and this is how it is most times before it gets in the ice cream machine so don't worry about the consistency. Now the next step is just for you to add this in the container in which you'll be storing your ice cream i'm just adding mine here to a loaf tin ensure that you add everything in i 
and this is too good to waste so ensure that you get out all of this Next, I'm just going to be adding a few chocolate chips in mine. They'll be at the bottom of my ice cream, which is perfectly fine. And this is 100% optional. So after you add your chocolate chips in, the next thing for you to do is cover this and leave it in the fridge for several hours. About that time, look at my ice cream, guys. It's nice and firm. And I'm going to be eating some of this right now all you need to do is just get yourself a scoop and then you just scoop 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 and eat your Bailey's ice cream it is nice and creamy look at this guys this is beyond good this is great but don't take my word for it guys try this yourself then confirm in the comment section of course, if you like the video, don't forget to give the video a thumbs up, share the video, subscribe to the channel, turn your post notifications on, visit my website at romaskitchen.net. Until next video.